Welcome back everyone. Today we'll recap a 2020 American supernatural horror film named Behemoth. A desperate father will risk anything, even his soul, to save his terminally ill daughter. Kindly remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked the video. At the beginning of the movie, we see a boy named Joshua on a morning walk. Then he hears some sound from the bushes. When he looks there, a deer emerges from there and it moves to attack him. He gets scared seeing it and starts running on the road to escape from it. After a while, he looks back and sees that the deer is no longer following him. Then suddenly he sees it again. But then a car comes there, and to avoid it he jumps on the side of the road. And that deer again disappears from there. Seeing this, he gets scared and runs away from there. Now we see a scene from a few days ago, where Joshua's daughter Nicole is admitted to the hospital and her condition is quite serious. Here her mother Amy accompanies her to take care of her. She has been trying to call Joshua for a long time but he was not taking her call. Then Joshua comes there, but he leaves without meeting his daughter. After this we see Keely getting intimate with a guy named Dominic. Just then Joshua comes there and he asks them to use their office, and they both allow him to do that. Here Joshua starts taking information from the internet for the treatment of his daughter. He learns that his daughter has been poisoned by a company with a poison named Toxin, due to which her daughter has been in such a condition. After some time Dominic and Keely leave him alone there. Then Amy calls on Joshua's phone but he does not pick up the call. Now it is revealed here that Joshua has a mental problem, due to which he gets illusions. Then he hears some sound and goes to check in another room but he does not find anyone there. Then suddenly the ropes hanging behind him starts turning into the noose, due to which he gets very nervous and takes his belongings and leaves from there. Then when he is traveling in the metro, he sees an insect running on a man's neck, due to which he changes his seat. But then he sees that the man has come to him and his face looks like a monster, fearing that he gets down at the next station. Now when he comes to his house, Amy gets angry with him because he was not picking up her calls, and he didn't even go to see his daughter. Now the scene shifts to the starting scene of the movie, in which he came to his house fearing the deer. He tries to tell his wife what he just saw but Amy knew that he was saying all this because of his mental condition. She tells him that she is leaving him forever as his mental condition is getting worse, and he has no time for her and his daughter. Here we also learn that Joshua has been fired from his job some time back. He tries hard to stop her but she leaves him and goes to the hospital. In the next scene, we see many people protesting in front of a company. This is the same company that caused such a condition of Joshua's daughter. Joshua was also here asking for justice for his daughter. And then Dominic and Keely also come there to support him. Then a reporter named Thomas starts covering the matter, which Amy is also watching on TV. Thomas says that due to the negligence of the company, many children are admitted to the hospital. He starts questioning Joshua, to which Joshua tells that because of the chemical made by the same company, his daughter is admitted to the hospital. In the meantime, the company's doctor comes there and it is he who has made that dangerous chemical. Joshua starts shouting at him but he ignores him and goes inside the building. Then suddenly a bird collides with Joshua and falls down and dies. And maybe all this happened because of the same chemical. The three then try to meet the doctor from the back door and try to beat him as soon as he comes out. But Azalo stops Joshua from doing so by shooting him. Now Dominic puts a knife on the doctor's neck and tells Azalo to let them go. He makes him sit in his car and all three of them leave from there. Now it is revealed here that the name of the doctor is Lois and Joshua worked with their company for 10 years. But when he came to know that this company was doing something wrong, he was fired from the company. Joshua asks him what is making his daughter sick. But Lewis says that they should let him go from there. Just then Joshua's health starts deteriorating and they stop to take some medicines on the way. But Keely forgets some things in the shop itself. Now when the shopkeeper is coming to deliver the goods to them, Azalo comes there at high speed and kills the shopkeeper by hitting him with his car. Now seeing this, Dominic drives away his car, and Azalo's companions start firing at them. Meanwhile, Dominic quickly crosses a railway crossing. But when Azalo tries to do so, a train hits their car. Then Dominic takes them to a motel, where Keely talks to the owner of the motel. When he asks her who else is with her, Keely says that she will stay here with her boyfriend for one night. Keely gives him her ID, and then they bring Louis into the room and tie him up. Azalo, on the other hand, gets out of the car, and he is alright. When he is leaving from there, 
The grass around him is getting spoiled, due to which we can understand that he is not a normal person. Here in the room, Joshua sees the head of a deer there but he ignores it. Keely bandages his wound and gives him medicine, after which she heads out to get more medicine and Joshua takes her phone to talk to Amy. Then Keely goes to the man to get his ID, where we see a monster moving towards her from behind her. But then suddenly he turns into the owner of the motel. He gives Keely her ID and Keely starts leaving from there. Only then does he start saying something to her. But when she turns back, he is not there. Seeing this, she gets scared and leaves from there. Here in the room, Joshua calls Amy while she is watching his protest news. She tells Joshua that he should be with his daughter at this time. Joshua tells her that he has kidnapped Louie, to which Amy tells him to free him. But Joshua refuses and says that he needs some urgent answers from him. Then Nicole's condition starts deteriorating and Amy asks him to come there quickly. Then he starts questioning Lewis and asks what is this toxin. But Lewis does not tell him anything and says that his bodyguard Azalo will find him soon. Then he says that if he lets him go from here, he will not do anything to him. Now in a fit of rage Joshua tries to hit him but he was in pain because of the wound. He then takes a knife from Dominic and comes to the washroom where he takes out the bullet from his body. Then a tentacle starts coming out of his body, but it is just one of his illusions. Outside, Louis begins to instigate Dominic against Joshua, saying that Keely loves Joshua, not him. Dominic gets angry on hearing this and he hits him with one punch. But Louis then says that Joshua is taking advantage of him, and if the police come here, he won't tell them his name, but for this, he has to let him go. Then Joshua comes there and Dominic goes out to smoke a cigarette. Looking at him, it seemed that Louis's words were starting to affect him. He texts Keely saying that they shouldn't get into Joshua's problems anymore. But Keely's phone was with Joshua? Now Dominic starts leaving from there. But then he sees the monster behind him. Seeing this, he gets very scared and starts running from there. But the creature catches him and kills him. Here Joshua again interrogates Louis but he does not tell him anything. Then Joshua starts having illusions, in which the head of the deer in the room starts moving. On the other hand, Keely goes to the shop to get some more medicines, and when she comes out of the shop, she sees Azalo there who is looking for them. Keely gets nervous seeing him and hides behind a car. Azalo enters the shop and interrogates the shopkeeper, but when he does not tell him anything, Azalo crushes his head with his hands. Keely gets very scared seeing all this and quickly starts running away from there. Joshua, on the other hand, was still having illusions, and meanwhile, he reads Dominic's texts on Keely's phone. Just then, Keely returns and Joshua asks her why did she give him drugs. To which Keely says that she had given him that tablet by mistake, but he will become normal in some time. Then she inquires about Dominic and calls him, but he does not pick up the call. Keely tells him that she saw Azalo outside and how he killed a shopkeeper by crushing his head with his hands. She tells Joshua to go out and find Dominic and she will interrogate Louis. Now when Joshua comes out to find him, he sees smoke coming out of a room. But this too was just an illusion. Here Louis also tries to entice Keely in his words. He says that if he lets him go, then he can give her $5 million. Then he tells her to let him make just one call and the money will be transferred to her account. On the other hand, when Joshua enters a room, a flashback is shown in which he is in a gymnasium with his daughter. Nicole's nose is bleeding and Joshua starts cleaning it. But just then he gets a call and he gets busy on the phone. Meanwhile, Nicole starts playing and more blood starts coming from her nose. And since then she is admitted to the hospital. Here in the greed for money, Healy lets Louis make a call, in which he talks to his boss Helen. Louis tells her that he has been kidnapped by some people and they are demanding money. Helen does not believe this at first, but then she agrees to pay the money. Keely then sends her account details to that number and immediately the money is transferred to her account. Seeing this, she is getting happy when she also starts having delusions. She gets nervous and comes to the washroom. Here Joshua finds Dominic's dead body which was hanging on the terrace, seeing which he panics and runs away from there. Here in the washroom, Keely's condition was getting worse and she sees herself pregnant in the mirror. Then the blood starts coming out of her and only then the same creature emerges from the mirror and grabs her hand. Keely begins to free herself from it and cuts off her hand with the help of a mirror and that creature leaves her. Then she falls down, and due to excessive blood loss, she dies there. Then Joshua comes there and is shocked to see Keely killed. Now Louis starts torturing her mentally and says that it is because of him that Dominic and Keely have died. Joshua then calls Amy, 
and Amy tells him that Nicole's liver is failing, so the doctor is about to perform surgery on her. Joshua tells her that he wants to talk to his daughter, and he gets emotional while talking to her. He then tells Amy that if anything happens to him, he should find Amla Company, a company owned by Helen. Then when he comes out, he sees that there is news on TV, in which Thomas is telling Joshua is Louis Kidnapper. Joshua disconnects the cable of the TV but still, the TV does not turn off. Now Louis starts turning into a monster and the dead bodies of Dominic and Keeley also start coming toward him. Then suddenly he comes to his daughter, and while he is still talking to her, the deer starts coming towards him and suddenly he wakes up. It is revealed here that these illusions were put in his mind by Louis himself when he used to work in his company. Now Joshua starts leaving from there, but then he sees Azalo coming from outside. Seeing this, he decides that he will kill Azalo first. Joshua thinks about something and then Azalo walks into the room and starts firing on a closet. But then Joshua, who was sitting on the chair instead of Louis, attacks Azalo and kills him. Then the deer on the wall starts screaming and then Azalo also wakes up, who had now become a very dangerous monster. He attacks Joshua and throws him away, due to which the wall breaks down. Joshua sees that there is hell on the other side of the wall, and only then does the deer come to attack him. But Joshua escapes from it and the deer leave their hitting and killing the monster. Then he sees that many other monsters from hell are coming toward him and then he wakes up from sleep, and it was all illusions. Just then Louis comes out of the closet and asks him why he killed Azalo, and he was also shot in the firing done by Azalo. Then he says that she will not leave you now, after that he dies. Then Helen comes there, and here it is revealed that she is actually the devil. She makes a deal with Joshua, in which if he gives his soul to her, she will save her daughter's life. Joshua accepts her deal as he wanted to save his daughter by any means. Now Helen after taking his soul turns him into Louis. Then we see Amy and Nicole on a beach when Thomas calls Amy to inquire about Nicole and finds out that Nicole has completely recovered. And the movie ends here. Thanks for watching.